for a lot of my life, I have been very confused, <laughs> very lost, uh, feeling directionless, and always feeling that I needed some kind of guidance, external guidance from somebody else who would just show me the, show me the way. Because I didn't know what I wanted, I didn't know what to do. And I always felt that, you know, and being quite analytical, I'm a very, you know, I, I tend to overthink a lot. And um, I want I want things to work, obviously, and I want to um, make sure that I'm doing the right thing with my life. And I'm always, you know, I've spent a lot of my time thinking, 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 trying to figure things out, trying to make sure that the path I've chosen is the right one, and then second guessing myself because it might not be the right one. Maybe it's not quite the ideal for me, given my personality. And so I have spent a lot of time second guessing, doubting myself choosing something with solid confidence one day and then the next day finding myself doubting that previous decision doubting myself frustrated with myself and annoyed that there was never a clear path a clear sense of clarity on whether it was the right thing to do now the reason looking back over the years that I struggled so much with this I think has a lot to do with relying on my personal thinking to show me the way. Well, what do you, what do you mean, Alex? You know, sure, surely we're thinking beings. You know, um, we got to make use of our thoughts as humans, and surely that's what intelligent people do: is we think through things, and we plan, and we figure things out, and we and we do them. Yes, absolutely. This thinking thing that we have is a great tool for helping us visualize the future, helping us make the most of the various options that we have in front of us. But sometimes we just don't know. Sometimes we have numerous options and decisions we could make, and it's not clear which one from all of the options is the right move. And that's when things get a little bit tricky because when there are many options and the, the, the path is not black and white, there have been some instances in my life where it's been like, yeah, this is, this is obvious, I'm gonna do this. Or, oh look, my house is on fire, I better run out of the house, obvious decision. But in other instances, you might just not know. You might think, uh, I wanna be an artist, but I also wanna be a plumber, and I also wanna get into gardening, and I also wanna be a professional skier what's right for me and then we stew on this idea that we should know and we second guess the thoughts that we come up and we second guess our decisions and we create a lot of suffering for us for ourselves in all of this thinking 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 that's when thinking doesn't come in, come in so useful my lips are going numb because it's so cold that's the key in this video before I collapse of cold is in understanding how thinking has a role to play, planning and visualizing have a role to play, but it has its limits. And we need to acknowledge that we have limits in terms of how our thinking can help us. And on the other side of those limits is an understanding of how the mind can really serve us. And what I've found, and what I often coach people with, and if you want help speaking through this kind of stuff and, and, and we can work together on your direction and where things can go with you, for you in your, in your life, in your next year, do send me a DM. Um, when we understand the mind, we understand how putting thinking aside can have a lot of value as well. So when you go on a walk, for example, or a run, or you're in the shower, you're a, or you're on holiday and you're not thinking about work and you're not overthinking and you're not trying to get into planning and you're not trying to get into your future. Have you noticed how things start falling into place? You get these insights, you get these ideas that come up and you're like, of course, that's, that's so obvious. Like it makes so much sense. And you didn't even put any effort into that insight that came up. Maybe an insight came up that said, you need to do this with your life. And that's your inner intelligence at play. It's your inner wisdom. And I know that, again, I always apologize for this 
kind of delving into the the woo-woo, the spirituality stuff. But that's exactly what's going on. You can call it woo-woo all you like. But when you really look inward and you let go of all of those spinning thoughts that are going on, there is a lot of wisdom to be had. It is wisdom that is part of this energy that flows through all things. And you can tap into it whenever you like, when you just take a moment to breathe, relax, put your mind somewhere else and be open and have faith in the idea that these ideas, these insights, this guidance is gonna be there for you because it always appears. And it, you know that it works because when you do this stuff, or should I say, when you don't feel the need to do anything, that is when this inner guidance system starts to wake up and to breathe life back into you. And I don't need to give you concepts. I don't need to tell you that this works. All I need to do is to encourage you to relax for a moment. If you're finding yourself in a spin and you're confused and you're lost, you have everything you need to find your own direction. Yes, you can work with someone like me to help um, put your attention in the right places and, and uh, elicit more of this intelligence, but you can also sit in silence and see what comes up without effort, without pushing. You can go on long walks with the intention of having a problem solved and you might very well find, like I often do, that for what, whatever's happening, a solution appears and it's usually a very very good solution and that is your inner intelligence at play and I will go into the the principles and the understanding that's at the root and at the heart of all this in, in other videos about how the mind works and how understanding that our thinking plays a role but it, it can be very limiting in the sense that it tends to weigh us down when we get too wrapped up in our own thinking and we try to second guess ourselves when actually all of this time we have a layer of thinking but underneath it is a well, a universal well of energy that's actually informing all things, that is informing the growth, the development, the evolution of all things. The algorithm is at play, defining the growth of that plant, defining the bark of that dog and it's defining the direction for you in your evolution as a human. So fall back on that occasionally. Got nice and heavy in this in this uh, video, but this has been what's helped me. And again, I'm not telling you what to do. Try it for yourself. Relax. Go for a long walk and see how you can come up with your own solutions. Much love, guys. Make sure you are subscribed for more ideas on mind, body, spirit, raising your frequency tapping into more of that inner wisdom. See you guys.